Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Hello, my people. So you just watched that. That happened in Delta State. Hmm? We don't need your money. Says Asaba and South protesters as they reject 1.5 from Governor Ifeinwa Okowa. You watched the video. That was NSAS protesters in, um, in uh, you know, Asaba, Delta State, where the governor felt giving them money maybe could uh, persuade them and just lead them away. This is the thin line between having uh, voices to speak for us for NSAS. Let me tell you something. Money, eh? The, you know, a song, a songwriter growing up, I used to hear that song being played. Money, money, the root of all evil. By the time we have those, if we are not speaking with one voice, so we go and speak to them on a round table. I tell you, they can give them 10 million each. They will come back and they will tell you, oh, let us listen to the governors. Let's listen. Let's pay attention. And they will just bring down the spirit of the protest. I know exactly what I'm talking about. The government don't want anything that would stop them in their way, you see. Uh, so they can do anything and they can, you know, take on the leaders, the people, the voices that has been, you know, selected to speak. And if they are corrupt, guess what? They will be absolutely corrupt because they will give them, give some of them money and they will look at it and say, ah, I haven't had a job, this, that, that, that. And guess what? They will take the money. So this is what happened in Delta State. You just watched the video. You heard the people saying, return the money. We don't need your money. Return the money. We want this to end. Also in Lagos State, we also heard that uh, so persons brought food and drink for the NSA user. And they said, what, what is this? This is not what we are after. Because by the time you start receiving gifts, hmm, your heart will go there. You have no choice but to listen to, you know, the person who you've been receiving gifts from. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. We don't need your money, says Asaba, NSAS protesters, as they reject 1.5 million naira given by the state governor, Ife uh, hmm, this is this is This is something else. According to the media report, young men and women in Asaba and its environment took to the streets to protest against bad governance and police brutality. In a bid to stop the ongoing protest, the governor gifted the youth a whooping sum of 5 million naira, which they rejected, saying the money cannot buy their lives, and also they don't need or want the money. The youth carried on, and the protest and became even louder. We don't need your money. We need SARS ended, and we need reform. We need a lot of things being done in our society so that we can live a peaceful and a quiet life. We are coming to also explain to you that we need reform in every area and aspect, including job creation being given to our people. We need reform in every aspect of governance, our roads, insecurity. We will come to that. But for the first and foremost, the people who have been put in charge to be security operative have rather turned on us. This must come to an end and this must stop. So, my people, this is what happened in Asaba, where they felt giving these people, is it not money they want? Mm, just give them some money. They have no choice. They will answer. My dear, they rejected it too. They rejected the money. They said, no, we don't want it. We don't need your money. I mean, this is, this is the youth standing up with one voice, with one purpose, saying, at last, we have a voice. We have a voice, and our voice needs to be heard. Don't come and don't patronize us. Don't. We don't need your money. We don't need your money. So, the truth of the matter is the government of the day needs to come to a round table and needs to analyze what do the youth want are they logical is it that they are just you know creating some nuisance or it is factual there is really some truth in what they are saying this brutality of police and uh, security agencies has to come to an end you know they need to stop it and they, this, they need to be a reform in our police unit which is the gospel truth they need to be a reform you know, we've allowed them to carry on and a lot of lives has been lost. They just, uh, you know, talk to people anyhow. The, the police of our, our government, police are not, you know, they don't, they don't feel that they owe the people to tell them the truth to. I mean, they just carry on and just misbehave and just do what they like. No, that's not governance. No, these people are supposed to be friendly. You know, for those of you, you for, those of, for, for those who have had the opportunity to travel abroad, you see people, one of the persons you want to take a picture 
pictures with are the police officers in developed country they carry themselves with such grace such poise they are well dressed friendly with a happy face you know you don't see them with ak-47 all mashed up ready for war no they are just there to maintain law and order civic society people go to them and say can i take a picture with you and you see the policeman pose with them at the end give them a handshake why is our case different why can't we have the same form or kind of you know environments where we can you know speak to our policemen and we can all be on the same page everybody happy 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 at the end of the day why does it have to be you come to a policeman and say can i tell you you won't slap you know them, you know, people, comedians will make a lot of joke and jest about them, about, about their, their disposition, about the kind of persons that they are, you know, the kind of mindset they have. They've not been trained, no proper orientation to say that these are human beings and uh, it's, just a, it's just a conversation. It's just, you know, they've not, even if they were trained initially, they need a retrain, you know, they, they, need, they need a refresher course to keep them in line, to say, you know what? But these are Nigerians, they are the people responsible for your salary, mm -hmm. and this is why you know you were employed so that you can keep the environment and the society safe for them. You know, some of them don't even know, they can't even speak English, the communication is poor. These are some of the abnormalities going on in our society that the government needs to pay attention to. They need to draw their attention to and they need to wake up to the truth that Nigerian youths have a voice, Nigerian youths are a people. You see, Nigerian youth deserves more than what, you know, this ill treatment being given by some persons who call themselves security agencies. To a large extent, you look at what is going on and you are wondering, do they even have an idea of, of you know, of their job description? And if they don't, can they be, can they be trained to be better, to be better effective, you know? So, I mean... Nigerians, it's about time. It's about time. And the government, we have put down our, our, our points. These are the points we want you guys to look at and, uh, you know, give us your reply. That's all. There's nothing more, nothing less. There's nothing more to it. Give us, look at it, give us your reply. That's all we are crying for. That's all we are asking. You know, Nigerian youth has been over a week now, crying out. Yesterday, you need to see the procession for the candlelight. You will not believe it. There is something going on and it is happening now. Well, my people, this is happening. Uh, this is real life, real talk. We'd like to hear your takes on this. We'd like to know what you think. Leave us a comment. Please like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news a very warm big thank you to every one of you out there we really appreciate you god bless you have a lovely and a fantastic day bye for now